Florida school shooting almost two weeks ago started a lot of conversations on school safety. News 8's Sarah Tamer is in our newsroom to tell us how Holman schools are making sure security is their top priority. Sarah? Safety may not be a parent's main concern when sending their child to school, but after several school shootings across the country, with Florida being the most recent case, safety is on a lot of parents' minds. I told you last year about Holman High School's efforts to heighten security, and now they're doing just that. The halls at home in high school before lunchtime are fairly quiet and empty, but eyes are always watching through the lenses of these newly installed security cameras. On the interior and exterior of the building. After a referendum passed last April, security was favored by most parents in the Holman School District. And now that $3 million <laughs> is getting locked in for good use. So we had better coverage of, of our parking lot on all the hallways and areas within our building, so all of that's been installed and up and running. Before the changes, the school had only 16 security cameras. Now the school has more than 100 in an effort to keep students safer. But cameras aren't the only security upgrade. The school is now working to build a two-stage entry system. Individuals will be able to enter into this vestibule area and then they'll be buzzed in through this door and we'll have a receptionist Right now, a key fob system is being used where every staff member is required to swipe their way in. Just hold it up, it clicks, goes green, and unlocks the door. And it, you know, as soon as you open it, clicks back and it's gonna lock back into place. Connectors are also installed at every entry and exit, so if a door is left propped open for an extended period of time, staff will get a notification on their computers that a door isn't connected to the reader. Holman High School Assistant Principal Wayne Sackett says the security measures aren't about creating fear, but with multiple school shootings making headlines, he's hoping they never have to worry. It's something that weighs on our minds because it's in, you know, it's at the forefront of with consciousness across the nation. So, you know, we want to focus on keeping our students safe so they can worry about learning and not worry about those other things. So, The school also has a website called Sprigio where students, parents, or staff can submit any concerns they have about a student or staff member. Thanks a lot, Sarah. The school will begin installing that two-stage entry system in May.